hello fam welcome my name is magdalene janet if you are new welcome to the fam please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on tiktok and insta because i'm there daily and welcome back to my oldies but goodies you guys so neutrogena <laughs> i'm reading this description and i'm thinking this is a tinted moisturizer because it has a tint but this is a mineral sunscreen oh it's a tinted sunscreen duh it's right here we're about to try it all by itself and see so i have two shades the shade medium and medium deep i really thought like a tinted moisturizer a skin tint but it may be hold on let's see let's watch these bad boys okay medium which is one which one is this one? medium deep is in the outer side oh that color looks good and then we have medium so medium medium deep this is a skin tint okay this is not a sunscreen i mean it is but okay i don't know which one should we go with medium medium deep mm, medium deep huh i just did my skincare well not just maybe like half an hour ago and when it comes to skincare i wear my sunscreen daily although i'm gonna use a skin tint slash another sunscreen i'll always use my own sunscreen so we're getting medium deep it does have a very thin not thin lightweight texture let's treat this more like a skin tint than a more a sunscreen oh this is a good shade it's pretty this is very sheer okay oh yeah very sunscreen-esque but let's see let's do a before and after and let's see if it's giving us a little as you apply it in, it gets that thicker sunscreen feel. You know how sunscreen feels like a lotion on your face? Yeah. Let's turn on the lights because I'm not seeing much of a difference. A little bit. You see? Here is... Okay. Versus nothing. So it's light. I mean, I kind of like this. This could be like a no makeup makeup type of deal. Okay, I don't know what to think of this. Oh, I didn't even wear primer. You know what? We're not gonna wear primer because yeah. Okay, so let me apply this side and then give you all the info about this product. The new Neutrogena Pure Screen Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid with Vitamin E Tinted retails for $16.99. It comes in four shades. I'm in the shade Medium Deep. This tinted mineral sunscreen for the face with SPF 30 leaves the skin glowing and radiant with no white cap. This face sunscreen with SPF is formulated to easily layer under makeup. Each shade has a neutral undertone that blends smoothly to complete your skin tone. I don't feel like you need to apply this with a brush or a sponge because it literally feels like sunscreen. We're going to categorize this as a sunscreen because it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a mineral sunscreen also i want to show you the difference of mineral sunscreens versus chemical sunscreen a mineral sunscreen creates a barrier with your skin and the sun and then a chemical sunscreen the sunscreen absorbs into the skin talking about skin i like this the shades are a little bit tricky because on my hand it looks deeper but as you apply it it kind of warms up to the skin and it gives you that color and you see this hydration here it's like a total sunscreen hydration sort of feel what's very impressive to me is that how it blends out on the face it blends out on the hand and it doesn't really get this sort of tint i was thinking we were gonna have it's very loomy so now i'm like should i wear makeup or what i don't know but you know what let's do it i want to let this dry down for at least like I don't know 10 minutes or so here let me give you the time yeah let's let it dry down about 10 minutes like i usually would do and it's been what 10 minutes as i was waiting around i'm like okay what what am i doing because i didn't know what i was doing i really thought this was a skin tint but it's a sunscreen this might be the best sunscreen tint i think i've ever tried because i'm blown away look at this color white cast never 
literally. And I was <laughs> looking at this one. This is a chemical sunscreen, the new e.l.f. one. I just reviewed it and this is a mineral sunscreen. So just to give you a quick little reference, we're going to do a full face, not full full, but I'm just going to add some makeup. I'm going to use Revlon foundation. I'm going to use the Tarte and then I'm going to speed it up, add some music. We're going to chill and then come back. Cause we need to see if this works well under makeup cause it claims it does, but we don't want peeling and whatnot, you know? Okay. Let me be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> Regresemos a nuestro presente, nademos contra la corriente, si el destino nos puso de frente, pues tiene que ser. All right, fam, I really like this. I think this worked out very well as a tinted sunscreen. It literally is what it says it is. Makeup applied freaking beautifully. No peeling, no separating. That can happen with sunscreens in general, and it's because a lot of times they are a little bit thicker in texture, and makeup just may not apply well. But girl, let me show you. I use, of course, makeup I know and like love and works, but look at this skin. And by the way, I am doubled sunscreened because again, I thought this was a tinted moisturizer. This is what happens. I read the description way late, but it's okay. You never have too much sunscreen. I'm like in kind of awe. I think this is definitely one of the best tinted sunscreens I've ever used because it's not super, super tinted where it leaves like your skin feeling weird. Like I've tried some that are just more of a skin tint or tinted moisturizer, but this is like the perfect combo of sunscreen and color. It gives you a slight color and it warms it to the skin. There is four shades, but they are adaptable to your skin tone, which is what I love the most. So yes, let's do a wear test because why not? A lot of times too with sunscreen, makeup tends to oil up a little bit more or it can break up a little bit faster throughout the day, which is why I do wear tests. And let's do a flash test because sometimes that happens where sunscreens will give you a little bit of flashback. But I highly doubt this one does because, girl, we got our tint, like legit. Yeah, no. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, I love it. All right, let's go in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks and I'll see you later, bye. We are in the car, about to go get some breakfast. Look, does it look so good? Nothing's breaking apart. Oh, another thing I was thinking about is how moisturizing this sunscreen is. Like, you know how I put some on my hands? I just felt that nice moisture. Oh, and I also didn't use primer today because I forgot. Oh yeah, I told you guys, the skin looks good.
this this sunscreen though well familia i'm back oh it is six o'clock this is how the skin looks with this sunscreen but of course you know i did get some footage at around three o'clock just to show you how the skin was looking for us to not have a primer on the skin was looking very very good oils were coming through but we know that nothing was breaking up or separating at this point here we are now it's been what 11 hours look at the skin like girl i'm just so surprised how good the skin looks because we don't have a primer i have oily skin and the sunscreen's bomb however when it comes to sunscreen you should be reapplying about 90 minutes to two hours so if you wear sunscreen every day and you put it on in the morning you put your makeup on i would suggest to either use a spf powder that super goop has i've never tried it before but that is an option or use this setting spray and reapply it have it in your purse reapply it as often as you can and your makeup will look well put together along with your skin having spf today wasn't really sunny it's been raining a lot lately, so my skin didn't really hit much sun because the morning time sunscreen is not as effective at this point because it's been so long, you know? But yes, this is a yes. Wow. I would have to say if you guys want to know which one I prefer, I would prefer this one just because it's not as glowy. It's a mineral sunscreen and the tint. The tint's what got me. I absolutely love this tint. It's beautiful. I mean, this one's good too. This one is available at Amazon right now. That's where I see it. I will link it where you can buy it because SPF tint, oh, perfect, perfect. But this is it, fam. I definitely don't look gastada. So, you know, that's always the goal here. And I love you guys so much. Please let me know your thoughts about this. Are you going to get this? Have you seen it around? Have you used it? Let me know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit every day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.